Hey lake lovers, how are ya? Now, I know the last few weeks have been a bit hectic. Well, the first week of the Weekend Lake Report, I was a bit tied up in my thoughts, and the last few weeks, Karin filled in for me. Well, the reason is I've been away from the office with a new girl. This new girl. Now, don't worry, we've actually been doing a lot of lake-related stuff. We stopped at Marshall Park, we went to the Memorial Union, and we even watched an alum application on a little lake in Verona to see if it would help phosphorus reduction in our watershed. Ooh, how'd that picture get in there? Hey, we were both working on our slice. Some of us needed to work on it a little more than others. Well, at any rate, I'm gonna take my daughter along with me this week for the Weekend Lake Report, and we're gonna start here at Mendota County Park. With the wind out of the north, there are reports of some fair or murky water spots here on the southern end of Lake Mendota, but that means good spots up on the north end. Here near Mendota County Park, our monitor is reporting good water clarity, nearly four feet of visibility, but a pretty brisk water temperature at 61 degrees. All right, young lady, we're here at Olbert Park. Say, I can't help but notice you've had a costume change since our last stop. Here's a tip, next time keep the poop in the diaper. All right, well, on Saturday, we'll have about a thousand riders for our Loop of Lake bike ride through here. You can register day of. Something you're interested in? We'll write your lake tomorrow. It's probably a little short to ride a bike. Well, let's check out conditions here in case you decide you want to take a dip. Throwing up on camera, classy. Anywho, like Lake Mendota, Monona is a bit of a mixed bag for water conditions this week. Up at Olbrick Park, though, things look pretty good. We're seeing good water clarity, almost the same visibility we saw on the north end of Lake Mendota at nearly four feet, and a few degrees warmer than the big lake, but still cool at 64 degrees. So all the paddle and portage athletes finishing here on Saturday will want to get out of the water as fast as they can. Okay, we're down here on Lake Wabisa. What do you have to say about it? Yeah, too much excitement for one day. I'm told good fishing here, and from what it looks like, good kite surfing weather too. What do you say we wake up and strap you into one of these things and turn you loose? Yeah, mom probably wouldn't like that, would she? All right, let's just sit here at McDaniel Park and check out conditions on Lake Wabisa. Not so great here on the eastern side of Lake Wabisa. The windy conditions seem to have made this side of the lake worse than the west side. Near McDaniel Park, our volunteer monitor is reporting fair clarity, visibility right at two feet, and a chilly 62 degree water temperature. Jumping up to the smallest lake in the chain, our monitor near Vilas Park Beach on Lake Wingra is seeing good water clarity, nearly four feet of visibility, but even on the small shallow lake, a cool water temperature at 64 degrees. Well, that's about all the time we have for this week's lake report. I tell you, I don't think there's anybody better or even equal to you I would have wanted to take the trip with. Oh, hey son, how long have you been listening? Long enough, Dad. Okay, well, that's all the time we have for Parenting 101 this week. Be sure to check lakeforecast.org throughout the week for up-to-the-date information at 70 points around all five lakes. Maybe you'll find out a new point is better than an old point you've been to. Until next week, I'm Adam Satterson telling you to get out there and enjoy those lakes.